Welcome, everyone, to another episode of The Candy Show. I'm your host, Candy. Guys, we have some special guests in the building. These guys were on the show woo, a couple of years ago. Yeah. Guys, I want you to welcome, but this time, they are representing R2G, Detroit's own. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, R2G. Yes, 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 yes. What's good, y'all? How y'all doing? Okay. Now, since Simba was the first one that came in, I'm going to have him introduce himself. Yeah, so what's up, everybody? Simba J right here. You know, uh, one half R2G. Okay. Yeah. And who's my okay. other guest? Oh, I go by Loose Cannon. You know what I'm saying? Num number one young boss out of the D. You know what I'm saying? Representing R2G, Street Noise Entertainment. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? Okay, now y'all know, you know I have to represent, so. <laughs> yeah. Hurt. Hurt. Yeah, that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's that look that like? That joint crispy, too. It's, that's it's fresh, fresh. Yeah, the merch ready. I know. You ain't know. <laughs> hey, All right, guys. I got the like here. Street Noise Entertainment. Come on, now. StreetNoise.com. Come on, now, with the Street Noise. All right, guys. This is RTG, Detroit's own. Now, I have to take it back a little bit so everybody know I happen to be up in Detroit. I had a great time with you guys a couple years ago, and at the time, was really up there supporting Loose Cannon and Street Noise Entertainment, but then a couple other people came on the show, and, and you know, this is just amazing to me that, you know, Simba J didn't even hardly talk on the last one, so I just want to just no. <laughs> I just want to be like, oh my gosh, she talked? No. <laughs> Tell us loose cannon. All right, what's been going on since I've seen you guys the last couple of years? What's been going on? Um, just being creative, staying in the studio, staying active, staying, you know, grinding and and um continuing to build what we, you know, started. And the legacy of the company, um, a lot has changed. You know, R2G is now a a, a two duo right now, and um, you know we 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 adjust and we we continuing to be creative and try to create the the best music that we can. And um, we've been through a lot of things. Where now we we've come to a decision where R2G is really it, it's. It's, it's a brand more than a group, you know what I mean? So you may hear a record the next time from us, and it may be four people. It may be Melody Renee. It may be uh, a One Mo. It may be an effing awesome or Tay D. We're still releasing as R2G as far as a, a brand. We're more so a brand than a group. Well, let's talk a little bit about street noise. Now, I remember from the last time I seen you guys, your dad said that he passed or he was passing on the street noise entertainment business to you, Luce, correct? Yes, yes. Woo. Woo. How has that been for you? Uh, CEO status is, uh, it feels good, you know, but for it to feel good, I have to play my position, you know what I mean, correctly. I have to make sure that um I'm not only giving myself attention because other than being a CEO, I'm an artist myself, but I have to, you know, give each artist I have, you know, things to work with and tools that they need to, to be successful in this journey that we're going through. So um I'm still learning, you know, it's it's nonetheless it's new, but um I'm adjusting and, and I'm loving all the, the learning experiences that's coming with it. Now, 2019, you guys said that, hey, you know, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Next thing I know, you dropped this bomb song. Watch it. <laughs> yeah. That's it, watch it. Watch it. Yep. Uh, again, back then was the most I had heard Simba J talk was on the song. <laughs> <laughs> now, Simba J, I got, I got, I got to mess with you, okay? Right. What brought you out of your, your element? 
just in on the song or just in general? Just in general, because again, I'm talking about Simba J that barely said two words. Next thing you know, watching just drops and you come on in there like, whoa. Very selective about when I talk. <laughs> you know, there, right. there's, I don't, I don't like to say much until it's a, it's a time to. I think I was taught uh, you don't speak unless you're spoken to. Something around there, but also it's just some people when they talk too much, it kind of, they they tend to tell on themselves and things of that nature. You know, me, I'll just when uh when it's the proper time, I don't like to talk too much. I'll let my actions do the talking. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so uh, oh wow, so your actions. How long were you, and how long have you been with Street Noise? I've been with noise how long has it been almost almost 10 years eight, eight <laughs> it's oh, been eight a, years i say eight years probably yes, okay. yes. now when i started with street noise i was just producing and before i even started producing noise, i was just helping helping loose in the studio yeah. getting your getting your um what is that called getting your um your um your internship on and just trying to look and pay attention and learn. Well, that, uh, part of that too. I just I because me and me and Luce met at Motown Museum, old tour guy. So I, I eighteen, I met you know, and we were super cool at first, you know, like that. And I found out months into knowing him, I'm like, oh, you rap. Oh, you got a studio? Oh, you know, I always wanted to go to a studio, and he blow me off like, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get in and lock in one day, you know. And he he would keep blowing me off and everything like that. So it was pretty interesting because we would hang out at other coworkers' birthday parties, things of that nature outside. And you know, I guess I grew on them. And you know, we were in the studio, and we locked in ever since. Oh, nice, nice. Now, Detroit. Have you? Are you guys originally from Detroit, also? Yep, born and raised. Born and raised. All right, representing D the Motown. All right, nice. Loops. Now, tell us a little bit about what you wanted to do when you first came on, and your dad said, "Hey, you know what? I'm passing the rain on to you." So, what was your first project that you said, "I'm going to make sure that we tackle and and see it all the way through." Um, it was my most recent uh project was the Lil Glenn EP. Um, as far as being the CEO, that was the first piece of work that came out, you know, under the label with me as the CEO, and that was like in the heart of the quarantine. So, like when it first started, so I had to take all my studio equipment and um I took it home and I recorded that whole project in my bedroom. And um, once I finished it, did the mix and the mastering, um, literally just emailed my pops. We listened to the project together. He said, it's solid. Let's go. And that was the first, you know, project um, being a CEO that was released. And um, then we went on to work with uh, F and Awesome, which is our R&B singer on the label. He released a, a single, Close to You, that's out on all platforms. Um, then we had Tay Denzel. Uh, I directed his music video for his new single, uh, Mixed Emotions. We shot that video. That's out on all platforms. Tay Denzel, Mixed Emotions. So I just been hitting the ground, the ground running, and now we here with the R2G record move. You know, produce that track, um, and just just grinding. It's it's just crazy. You know, I have to say now. While you just told about what exactly what's exactly going on right now, you know I gotta take it back. Gotta take it back. Let's let's start with watching. Let's go back with watching. Now, mm -hmm. you are still doing some good streams, correct? You, you, what, what's going on with that? How yeah. high has that reached? The streams are going as high as the highest has ever been right now. You know, I'm, I'm I know for a fact it's going to be way higher. I mean, far as move, we over sixty one. 
market. So we're doing the math. That's like 10,000 people tapping in every single day. And, you know, Spotify, my artists are um, Melody Renee did over a million views with her record, Let It Flow. Oh, she has a record oh, with Jada Kiss. So I'm interrupting real quick, just because some of the audio was going out. We want to make sure that everybody understands and hears your accomplishment. So just go back a little okay. bit when you're talking about the accomplishment for watching. Okay. Yeah. Um, watching this is still growing. I mean, actually, the when we had our our, our, our separation with our, our third member, you know, it's kind of like we, we fell back with kind of pushing that record. And on top of that, we were already dealing with the bum, bummer fact that COVID didn't let us do what we wanted to do with that record. But Move is picking up so well that people are now going back to watching, you know, and, and that's the beauty of it. Like right now, our record Move is over 60,000 something views on YouTube, you know, so that's like, it's been out for six days. So we're doing the math. That's 10,000 people a day tapping in with this record. So um, it's going crazy. And it's not just us. Our artist, Melody Renee, she did over a million streams. You know what I mean? Like our numbers are are continuing to grow for sure. Simba J, Simba J, Simba J. Where'd you get that name from? Simba J. <laughs> well, that name, funny enough, it actually came my name my name is jordan lions lion lions in swahili is simba so simba j my first initial uh yeah and that's how i came up with it and what was something that you had to encounter during covid watching was doing this thing and next thing you know covid <sighs> I feel like pressure, you know, on, on, couldn't, no one could predict COVID. So when COVID hit, everyone was scrambling, trying to figure out, okay, what can I do in this time to be productive? How can I rise above this unknowable circumstance and rise above it? Well, that was, that was mostly uh, me to do, you know, just kind of, kind of dig deep. Uh, and and that's what I know. Lou did that with his project. What I did with my, uh, with my well, just try to find music and try to dive deep into yourself to figure out how what can I from this moment? How can I channel to the music? And that was basically what I was going through uh, during uh, COVID, just trying to reach another level so that the next time we all came back together. Where, where did you come up with this? Where did this come from? You know, so even though we were locked off from the world, it opened up an opportunity for more introspection. And just to look at self, especially when there's nothing else to do, and try to find the gold within, so to speak. Now, Luz, you guys had a ton of projects going on during quarantine. Uh, now, before we even go into a little deep in that, you guys also dropped a, a Street Noise Entertainment Joint, Street Noise Team Entertainment Joint on New Year's Eve of yep. 2020. Yep. Wow. Yep. All night. Consistent work. Consistent work. That's all I can say. We dropped all night. Uh, I produced that beat and... We just threw everybody on that joint. And when we threw everybody on that joint, it was just right. It felt good. And um I still I still bumped that record. It gets me it gets me going. You know what I'm saying? We just looking to create the best music, you know, and stay true to our brand, who we are, you know what I mean? And we just real talk, we just want to show people that. You can be from the hood, you can be from the streets, and you don't necessarily have to have the guns in your videos. You don't necessarily have to talk about, you know, 
extra things that you don't do. We 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 like to make real fun music. And um, shout out to every artist that was on that song, Buka G. You know, some of those artists are no longer with us, but if you're still with us, if you ever were on Street Noise, you will always be loved and respected. You know what I mean? As as an artist that was with our camp, so. Yeah, but All Night is out, too. You know what I mean? It's not on all platforms because, you know, we had a, a sample in there from Tony Braxton. We didn't want to go through all that, so we just we threw it out there for people to just enjoy it and have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? So. And the challenges that you guys had, okay, now, we all were shut down, but you kept it moving. Yeah. <laughs> you guys kept it moving, and I mean, literally, you were on the move. Yeah. What's your project? Tell us about that. Because I know you were doing some movies and you was out in California. Yes. Uh, we, we got a lot, you know, we got a lot going. Right now, um, Beautiful Noise is um, an in-house, you know, label movie. Um, it's starring Melody Renee and myself. Also, Simba J is in there. All, all the artists from Street Noise are in this film. We have a soundtrack that we're working on for the film. Um, I currently just got done shooting a movie called Off the Porch. Um, shout out to Street uh, Street Lord Rook, um, Juan, everybody out there, Ronnie, all the directors. Um, and some artists shot The Bottoms. The Bottoms, yeah. Shout out to Sterling Davis out there in L.A. We've been in L.A. shooting films, even brought the studio to L.A., recorded out there. Um, it, it's so much, you know, that, that we're doing right now. And it's, um, it is all on the way. And it is really, it's really at this point, you just gotta, you gotta watch. And once you continue to watch, you're going to see what's really going on. It's, it's something, I don't want to give too, too much away because we got some heavy, heavy things we're finna do and drop, but, um, be on the lookout for street noise entertainment. We, we got some heavy hitting stuff. Um, in the in the gun, are we ready to shoot? Simba J, what does Arc Two G stand for? Ready to grind. Uh, I thought it meant ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so we ready to go grind. <laughs> no. Two G G. That's that's funny though because when we first when we first got the name R Two G, we ran with ready to go, but we we sat down and. Pops Big G was like, you know, ready to go sound or all right, but we need something that's going like everybody can kind of rally around. Like, yeah, they can resonate with and they can, you know, understand like ready to grind, like who's not ready to grind, you know, for whatever it is, if whatever type of, if you work a nine to five and that's what you want to do, you get up in the morning you got to be ready to grind to go get that paycheck. If you're in the streets, same thing. It kind of applies to every single person and what they do, you know. At all levels. Did you both participate in the entire production of all the songs that R2G and Street Noise Entertainment has out? Pretty much, yes. Yes, this is all a, a, a team effort. Um, I would definitely say far as our project that we're working on, we may tap in with other producers, but we, we just love, you know, our chemistry and we're very careful about who we bring into the, you know, the circle because we pops always say, you know, we got to, you got to watch out for the, the cancers, you know what I mean? And we're not, not the Zodiac signs, the cancer meaning, you know, those people who are not fit for what we're trying to do, you know? So, we got a good chemistry, so we just continue continuing to build and be creative. You have a new video out with Moon. And now I have to say, when I saw it, I loved it just because of what I saw in the video, how there was a throwback feel. Mm hmm Simba J. Yeah. The Moon video. Mm-hmm. Who came up with the concept? Loose. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you do anything? <laughs> <laughs> I performed. <laughs> okay. Acted All as. Right. 
the CEO came up with a great idea. I like the idea. And honestly, if you look at us as individuals, we kind of mirror kid in a in a certain type of way. Now repeat that again. You kind of mirror who? Uh, kid and play in a certain type of way because the video was based off of the first house back in 1990. Okay. Now I know that we are on the internet, so I know the audio can go in and out. So again, I want to make sure that everybody can get as best of good audio as possible. So you said that the video was a little bit based off of the house party movie, correct? Yes. All right. All right. Great. Great. Okay, um, now y'all know I be dancing and all that. Why I wasn't called up to get up in the video? Ooh, ooh, you know I could be dancing. <laughs> I know. I, we can't. We we got you on the next one. We should have. We should have totally thought about you first. We should have totally thought about you. I, I, Cause I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna take that one on the chin for sure. But we got you. We should have totally thought about you. Okay. 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 Um, it was like, okay, we got to go and get the video done ASAP. So we got with DG, shot the DG, did a great job shooting the video, but we literally jumped out on the internet, boom, cast and call. We literally went in the streets and found girls and found guys and, you know, really pushed. And we probably had like under 20 days to get people, you know, locked in and committed. Cause a lot of people, they'll say they come in and they don't show up. Like, you know, getting, especially when people's not getting paid, things like that, it's kind of tough. So, but people showed up, they showed out and they supported. And um, I, I want to say shout out to everybody that participated in that, that video. And Candy, you will be in something very soon. I'm gonna make sure of that. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it over here in Indianapolis, Indiana. But you also have some beautiful ladies in the video. Uh, Say that one more time. I got people moving upstairs. I can't even hear you. Say that one more time. Yeah, you had beautiful ladies in the video too. Definitely, definitely. I say the and the real ladies too. You know what I mean? The, those girls are very beautiful, very attractive, very talented, and um and very real. And when I say real, we wanted to go with girls that were natural girls. You know what I mean? Not the super duper top of the line uh mtv jams beats you know award show looking women you know what i mean we wanted to give that real feel and that real you know we shot that we shot that video in the, the trenches too we shot it in the hood hood so you know we just wanted everything to be relatable you know what i mean because this is kind of a new jack swing throwback feel of a record but we wanted to bring that new feel back. And that's and that's where we at with it. I love those dancers too. Shout out to Hillary, every single dancer. Y'all did a great job. Simba J, who were the other two beautiful ladies in the video? Oh, that's Melody Renee. Oh. Melanie, Melanie Renee as well. And one mo. Oh. Okay, so Street Boys was right up there. Oh yeah. We was deep. Okay, so what's your next project that you guys are gonna be doing? What's your next song? Have you even thought about that yet? Uh, we we're being told we don't know yet, but from, from last time we checked, we're being told that uh, a a a ballad record or something of that nature may be in the works. Um. We have a lot of music recorded, but of course, um, we have to. We're in the process of going in and recutting records because of it now being a two-man group at this point. So, you know, a lot of the records we had done, we're in the process of restructuring and, you know, rebuilding those records. So, um, all I can say is just be on the lookout because we we we're we're dropping something very soon as far as project wise but what we're doing right now is playing a singles game mm -hmm. dropping these records building it up and building that anticipation street noise has other artists now let's get back to that because i know you mentioned it earlier a little bit you know so you had during, during 2019, just from 2019 to 2020 you guys added to your roster Mm-hmm. Who'd like to talk about that? Stimba. <laughs> well, we got Tay Denzel. So we added Evan. 
be at it one more. One more. One more. Yes. I'm, say, I'm saying everybody's name because you keep going in and out. So I'm a, wherever you drop, I'm going to pick up. All right. Then we also, we also added Melody to Renee to the roster. To the roster. <laughs> roster. Made up the <laughs> yeah. Yo, pick your phone up. Is your phone on the counter? What? No, it's up. It's oh, my gosh. It's, oh, my gosh. It's, oh, my it's up. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I couldn't. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, we got Mel, Renee, and Mo. I think it's going I think. in and out. Oh Can you god. hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we hear you now. Stay oh just like goodness. that. Okay. 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 Well, let's let's give your phone a break. <laughs> I'm gonna repeat that question. Lou, you guys add it to the roster. Okay. All right. <laughs> cry. Now, this is the candy show. Live, natural, real, unscripted, uncut. <laughs> you never know what happens. Woo, goodness. All Not right. Y'all, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, you added to the roster from 2019 to 2020. Who did you add? Tell us what the role is in the Street Noise Entertainment family. Melody Renee. You know what I'm saying? Great talent. R&B, pop, hip-hop, you know, dope artist. Effing awesome. Okay, I'm back. Effing awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Evan awesome, you know what I mean? He's representing uh, Yak Town, Pontiac, Michigan. You know what I mean? He's a um, great singer. Record out right now. Tay Denzel, um, One Mo, R2G. That's that's pretty much it right now. We might have a, a few other signees coming very soon, you know, because we just keep getting a lot of talent, you know, swooping by. So you never know. We might have about 20 people in a few months. No. But what else do they do now? I know, shout out to everybody that he just mentioned. Thank you so much for the opportunity to even continue to showcase you guys on this platform. So I just want to say thank you so much to that. But yeah. what does each one of your artists do? And what are they doing? Are they producing? Are they singing? Are they rapping? Are oh, they doing but, it all like you are? I would... I would honestly, I mean, Jay, you might agree to this. I believe everybody does rapping and singing. Like, like FN, even though he's like considered just straight singer, he, he can be a rapper yeah. if he be, you yeah. know. Um, Tay Denzel, very melodic artist. Melody Renee, she can mess around and start rapping, but she sings. So, all of those artists, all the artists that we have on our roster, I think they 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 hold those type of talents where they're not just boxed into what they actually do. Whatever they need to get done, they're gonna get in that element and and you know, do their thing. So mm -hmm. everybody's yeah. multifaceted on our label. With the song that R two G has out, now I noticed that they're pretty much a whole party vibe. Now, I, I love that. I love that. What was the reason behind those songs being put out first? Jay, you want to answer that? Well, I'll say those songs because those songs were undeniable. Like when we all heard, when we all heard the beats that Loose Cannon, a.k.a. Glenn on the track, made, it was like magic. And we all were like, we got to write something. Like because there there are a whole bunch of tracks that he made, but those tracks, those tracks stood out to us the most, especially for singles. And then when we added our little pizzazz, uh, uh, added our, our essence to the records, it made it pop even more. What is one goal that you like to achieve within the next six months? Either one can answer. 
moving in this house I just bought. No. <laughs> 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 no, straight up. Um, I see. Uh, I see major labels begging. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm. I see a lot of companies coming at us, asking for something. Whatever that may be, you know, because we are doing things that a lot of people are not doing right now. We're creating music that a lot of people are not doing right now you know and i feel like when there's an open lane that leads that leads to a good shot that leads to a point you know so y'all can keep leaving us open for these good points if y'all want to all we gonna do is get the championship that's all i'm gonna say so thanks Who's behind the production when it comes to your movies and, and, and the things that Street Noise is doing regarding acting? Big G, Sterling Davis. That's really though though and Sonya, Sonya Purdy. Mm -hmm. Um those are the three people who come together and make it happen. You know, and it's all in house. Okay. And now Simba J. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me? Am I oh. going in and out? <laughs> yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> you were the quiet one in the very beginning. Now, I wanted to know what was one of the things that you said that I'm going to make sure that people know about me? Hmm. It's a good question, Candy. I have to think about that for a second. <laughs> well, I just want people to know that I'm a solid individual, first and foremost. You know, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100 as much as I possibly can. You know, and I have good intentions in everything that I do in my music, especially in our music. You can you can definitely see that go through. You know, you can see that shine through. You know, um, I don't like to do much talking, but when I do, you can feel it, and you can feel that in our music that we put out, and in everything. You know, R two G. You know, this whole label is just full of individuals that are about their business. And they just want to elevate in their craft as much as they possibly can. And then we also have Ryder Miss. We have Ryder Miss Entertainment. Oh yeah, Ryder Miss. How did I, damn, Ryder Miss too. That, Ryder Miss jumped in. He, Ryder Miss is actually just getting a part, you know, just joining the family. But in the few, like what, two months, few months that he's been with us, this guy's been putting in so much work. Mm -hmm. it, it's ridiculous. So sh sh definitely shout out to him, too. He he definitely makes a lot of things happen. So that's family. Now, I'm getting ready to put you guys to a test. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Watch, his, his signal about to go out right now. All right. <laughs> I need the first person to come off with using candy. Right off the top of your head, I need I need to hear a rhyme or two. It doesn't have to be I, sixteen. You can give me eight, four. It doesn't mean four. Four bars is cool. Listen, step in the building. Know I'm stacking my dough. Simba J, loose cannon. We ain't ready to go. We gonna do it all day. You know we gonna blow. We locked in right now to the candy talk show. Easy, little free snobs. <laughs> 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 The CEO talk. The CEO talk. <laughs> I mean, that's what you that's that that's that flow for you. If you're a real flower, it could come right up off of here real quick. Yeah, just like pew, 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 real fast. Now Lose, you had something also going on during quarantine. Review show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You had a, you had a beautiful lady with you. You mm -hmm. still doing that? Definitely still doing that. Um, it's it's I kind of 
it came about during quarantine. You know, I mean, I was just like, man, let me figure a way to stay busy and, you know, give back, you know, and, and build my brand as well, because helping these independent artists who don't know me and me lending out my platform the way that I do, that just builds a relationship with people from the East Coast, the West Coast, the South Side, the North Side. And, you know, they appreciate it. It feel good when I get off the live and people in my DM saying, man, you wanted a realist, man, because a lot of people don't give the, you know, give those platforms and opportunities to be heard. And, you know, we pack it out when we when we do our review shows, when I'm talking about 400, 500, 600 people in the live at once listening to people music. So it's helping everybody out. Um, I didn't want to start doing it every single day. So I probably pop out like twice a month just to keep that anticipation consistent and going. But yeah, the music review show, number one music review show on Instagram. So y'all definitely make sure y'all follow and tap in so y'all can have that music ready. If you got good music, we show love. If you got bad music, we're going to grill you, but we're going to tell you also what we think could be better and, you know, give advice to help the artists become, you know, where they should be as far as their music. I actually enjoy that type of a platform because a lot of people don't really get the honest, true feedback that they really need. Yeah, It's not just about saying, okay, man, that's cool, or, you know, oh, I like that. When you know the daggone well it sucked or it just at least needs some improvement, people don't want to lend that advice out. So I really enjoy that piece of your platform. Thank you. You're welcome. Simba J, describe one time that you want to just knock the heck out of loose. <laughs> <laughs> And oh man! Honestly, you guys, this is a family oriented show. But at the same time, yeah. Pull out that Christmas list, man. <laughs> well, and, and that's just in fun, so that's all I'm saying, you know. Whew. This boy, uh, look at Tay. He a character, man. He he don't have an off switch, man. He a character. You know. <laughs> He, <laughs> he has a lot of personalities and you know and <laughs> and it'd be like man everybody be everybody well I'm kind of the same way too I ain't even gonna <laughs> so who's the, the the worst jokester between the both of you wait a minute <laughs> him See, on my side, he on oh, this other side. <laughs> it's you. I, I'm a jokester. Taste you make more jokes. Than I, you got a whole joke page. <laughs> I do. Now, look, now you know you do. You, you mean, man. I was thinking, where the heck you be coming up with this stuff from? Just bored. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Told you. <laughs> I like the energy. I like the energy. Definitely make sure you keep that up because while everything that's going on in this world is crazy and definitely need some laughter. Definitely. Um, definitely. Uh, when are we going to see the other ladies come out now? Uh, one Mo, what's going on with her project? Uh, one Mo right now, she's getting ready to make her debut um, with her single. And um, we're actually getting the video ready. We're getting the the mix and finish, the master and finish, she's like really on her way in the next month or two. You should be definitely hearing one more, you know, doing her thing going crazy. So um she she got some she she got a fire joint. Um uh, I produced it. Um and I'ma leave it there. But y'all just make sure y'all get ready for her joint because she she coming with it. Stay tuned. And F and awesome. Okay. Now he's also part of the move song. singing on the end of the song and we end up keeping it and because it, it just felt good when he and he was just joking like he just hopped on there going and move doing all that stuff in the end we was like damn that's let's keep that and so he stole a feature mm -hmm. <laughs> you know actually i like that too just because 
it gave you a little bit to listen to at the end. It's almost as if, okay, well, we don't know that there's going to be someone on this other than the two. And then at the very end, you're like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has just enough, just enough that it's like, oh, that's new. You know, it keeps you wanting to keep listening more and more onto. Definitely. Now, what platforms can you find Move On? Everywhere. <laughs> you name it. Pandora, you name it. Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Amazon, Tidal again. Deezer. Uh, Deezer, uh, Rhapsody, uh, Xbox Music, uh, YouTube, YouTube Music, <laughs> Google, Google. <laughs> When you said everywhere, you said everywhere, didn't you? Everywhere. That's what you meant. Yep, and your cars, that. radio, requested on your radio stations. We were just on the radio earlier today. Yeah. Nice. What radio station? What was that? Kiss 98, Kiss 98 7. Shout out to DJ yeah. Flex. Been showing us hella, hella love. Well, you guys keep putting out those banger joints. I mean, you, nobody's going to have any other choice but to jump on. Tell the R2G yeah. move mm -hmm. and the street noise entertainment bus that's yes, coming yes. through. If they don't know them, now they know. Come on now. So I want to give a shout out to everybody on the street noise entertainment. And this is in no particular order. It's just how my brain just having to remember everybody because there's a lot of y'all on there. Mm -hmm. Melody Renee. Mm -hmm. Evan Ossel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the beautiful one mo. Mm-hmm. Tay Denzel. Tay Denzel. <laughs> Denzel. Mm-hmm. Simba J. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Louis Canning. Mm-hmm. Mr. Big G, Mr. Mm -hmm. Big Glenn. Right. And Miss Purdy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And am I missing one more? Or is that it? Ride or miss. Ride, ride or miss. Ride or miss. Yeah. Come on now. Y'all holding it down in the D. And I'm talking about Detroit, Michigan. Oh, yes. Yes. Woo. And New York, too. Ride or miss. He out, he out there in New York City. So he he taking care of the, the East Coast over there for us. But he, you know, he he by way of Detroit now. Right. Okay, come on now. And tell them again, what are the two upcoming projects that you guys have that you have your acting debut yep. in? Beautiful Noise. Beautiful Noise is coming. Right now it's in um, editing. Um, Beautiful Noise soundtrack is in the works as well. Um, be on the lookout for a film that I'm also in, um, Off the Porch, coming soon as well. We working. Move is out right now. And I know y'all getting ready for that. The, the R2G project will be on the way as well. So we 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 getting it in. We hope that y'all are just ready to grind with it. <laughs> Did you say ready R2 to grind G R2G? Yep, I said right. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now y'all know <clears throat> I need some new merch. Uh, so tell everyone how they can purchase this hat and more. I got this shirt on. Yes. Yeah. Streetnoisemerch.com. I want that shirt. We're going streetnoisemerch.com. You get your own. <laughs> <laughs> Street noise merch. Yes, you know yes. Yeah. I, I have no problem with doing that. You know, we got, you know, this just, you know, I got to iron it. But, you know, we stay with some street noise <laughs> merch, you know. That's the jogging suit right there. You know, this the special edition. We're going to have these out everywhere. But, yeah, we got we got a lot of stuff coming. So, but streetnoisemerch.com is where you can get all the street noise merch and you can get all the merch for individual artists. You a Tay Denzel fan, he has merch. You a Melody Renee fan, she has merch. F and Awesome, he has merch. One Mo, everybody has merch. You know what I'm saying? So whoever you subscribe to, who music you like, we got something for you, for sure. And there's also r2gmusic.com. Stay up to date with what's going on with us. Check us out. Okay, ma'am. Now, next time y'all get together, hopefully, you know, I can get there when it's safe. 
you know, I, you know, I can act too, you know. Oh, of course. Can, can, I audition, can I audition a little bit for you right now? Yeah. I mean, you already cried for us on cue, so it, I, yeah, that was crazy. I was like, wow. I tell people that it's easily for me to cry, like really easy, you know. <laughs> so, mm. but okay, off the top of the head, I need somebody to throw a line out to me. All my life, I had to fight. What you talking about all your life? All my life, I had to fight. I had to get up on this chair and just say, what the heck? <laughs> was that what a freestyle acting session? Yes, that was all. Okay, all right. Wow. Yeah. Okay, is that the real opinion or y'all just trying to just be, be oh no friends. you lit if you, if you, if you transported you us like that I, you transported to us to wherever you were I, I was like you got up on that chair though that's for sure i mean you had to you know yeah, let them know what I, you know what i like to review myself and i have to tell you I, i'm a little scratchy so i need i do need a little help but i appreciate you guys being so nice but guys I'm going to let you go, but before I do, do you have any other things you'd like to add to this, or if you have any more shots? Pick me. Pick me. <laughs> Listen, move is out right now, y'all. I need y'all to go follow official R2G on IG if you are pretty much sure everyone is, but go tell somebody to do that please mm -hmm. make sure y'all go and follow the beautiful candy talk show as well make sure y'all mm -hmm. go check out this video and i need y'all to go mm -hmm. on youtube and drop some comments on that joint and when i say come spam the comments i don't care if it's emojis i don't care if it's three two words give us three comments man so we can run those up and show these people the engagement that we're getting on this record and the positive energy that we're putting out here to the world we're trying to get everybody on the dance floor again even if you got a mask on we're trying to get the world dancing again you know what i'm saying we're trying to bring back an element that people are not tapping into you know what i mean it's we already dealing with too much in the world right now with covid we need to find a way to still be positive, have fun, enjoy each other, love on each other. It's not about beefing. It's not about ignorant things. You know what I mean? You get one life, man. Turn up, have fun. And that's what R2G is about. We love y'all. And that's all I got to say. Go go stream that record. And also, while you stream, move, stream, watch him. Our first thing, video. And we have the song available on all streaming platforms. Check that out. And while you're at it, check out the whole Street Noise family. Tay Denzel, Mixed Emotions, F and Awesome, Close to You, Close to Me, Melody Renee, Let It Flow. She also has a record out with Jada Kiss. So check out, and also one more, be on the lookout for her record coming out soon. We all working. You guys also have something else going on up to Detroit, Vince Radio. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. uh, Radio.net. Make sure y'all log in. Y'all can go listen in on uh tune in. Just type in Vent Radio. We're on Twitch. Roll Subscribe to us on YouTube because the video was under the you uh the Vent Radio account. So mm -hmm. hit that subscribe button, click that bell because every time they have a show and they go live, it streams live directly on YouTube. Mini show. Shout out to Sandman, Sam 44 man that came through in the video. Yes, he sir. Killed it. Shout out to everybody that was involved, man. For real. And uh, Ben Radio is also on Roku as well. Yes. Yes, yes. Candy Show's on there too. And I thank you guys also for that particular. Woo. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, to the chair dancers, mm, like myself, mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Make sure you go stream, move, look at that video. It's out. All right, guys. Tonight, today, thank you. This evening, this morning, wherever you're watching us at. Bye. Love. Bye.